Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so Donald Trump has announced that he wants to impose a tariff of 25% on Canada and Mexico, an additional 10% on China. Now, as of right now, we do have a contract, a trade agreement between the three countries and basically if he does this it would be in violation of these trade agreements but uh, he wants to impose this because he says that these countries are not doing their part to secure their borders uh, he didn't really talk a lot about Mexico or Canada but on uh, China he says the illegal uh, shipping of drugs like fentanyl um, he's not very happy about it and uh, I guess at one point China had agreed when he was in office before to have stiffer penalties uh, life in prison death penalty for any smugglers of these illegal drugs and apparently they have fallen through and they haven't done what they promised to do so yeah he's a little bit upset uh, so I don't know really what the US is doing different than Canada and Mexico uh, they do have a large problem with drugs a large problem with illegal immigrants um, so I, I know sometimes the border is very difficult to cross but what are they doing different than Canada? Uh, and from every, I've like watched different newscasts, Canada, US, and Britain. Each of these newscasts seem to have a little bit of a different idea about these tariffs and a little bit of a different idea on why he wants to impose them. Now, Apparently, if these countries tighten up their borders, the tariff will stay the same because uh, I do believe it's not the trade agreement is good for another year. So there was no plans on uh, renegotiating for, I think it's 2020, 2027. I think it was the next planned. Uh, trade agreement but he wants to break the deal increase it by 25% and 10% for China extra uh, unless they tighten up on their borders uh, I know Canada especially when it comes to uh, auto theft uh, if it doesn't go to a chop shop the cars will end up either in Mexico not Mexico, uh, in Quebec or Halifax, which are our two major ports for exporting across seas. And they seem to be just wide open. Uh, and apparently the Canadian government has just realized that Quebec is like an open door for stolen goods. Uh, I've been in the auto industry for over 25 years and I know everybody in the auto industry knows that if you lost a car and it didn't uh, it didn't end up at a chop shop somewhere in Canada it was on a container on its way to Africa or uh, the Middle East so it, it's been common knowledge for over 20 years at least uh, to people in the auto industry um, but the Canadian government just realized uh, in the last year or two that this was a problem or so they tell us so if a tariff is imposed on Canada and Mexico and China not only does it hurt those countries but it will also hurt the American people because they also will have to pay more to get those goods 
because if they were selling an item for a dollar, if Canada was selling it to the states for a dollar, and you increase the tariff by 25%, I guarantee you the manufacturer or the importer of that item will be increasing the price at least by 25%. And one of his campaign uh, promises was to decrease the cost of living and increase your salaries. So uh, that kind of makes me think that he's not really planning on increasing the ter these tariffs, but he is using the tariff to get everybody on board and tell everybody basically, hey, let's work together. Let's secure the borders and uh, let's stop crime and, you know, people Killing people, not to mention uh, the human trafficking uh, that has been running rampant for years now between uh, these three countries is uh, obscene. So give me, give me your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think he's really planning? Is it uh, that he wants some sort of trade difference? Or does he really want everybody to step up their game, secure their borders, and uh, get some stuff together done, you know? Uh, so, yeah, leave me a comment. If you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And uh, let's see what happens. Like, he's planning on doing this, like, day one or day two of his uh, his office so once he gets in in January he says it's going to happen so it's this, it's November right now uh, so you got a month month and a couple weeks to get something uh, get a board together get a panel together start talking and get your stuff in order or, as he promises, there'll be tariffs. Leave me, leave me a comment. What are you thinking? Okay, till next time. Have a great day.